relevant side note to this subject, one of the designs competing for the position of the world's first intercontinental bomber was the Northrop XB-35, which as you can see, was a flying wing design. It had all the advantages of flying wing designs that have already been mentioned, but it wasn't chosen as America's first intercontinental bomber because by this point in history, nuclear gravity bombs were the cornerstone of American national defense policy. And because the XB-35 was designed before anyone outside the American Manhattan Project knew about the existence of nuclear weapons, it was not designed to accommodate them. If you look at this cutaway drawing of the aircraft, you can see that the bomb bays are the spaces between the wing ribs. That's fine for a load of 1,000-pound bombs, but the first production thermonuclear bomb to enter service was 25 feet long and weighed more than 40,000 pounds. There was no way that was going to fit in those bomb bays. So because the B-36 could fit the first generation of nuclear bombs in its bomb bay, it was chosen to be produced, whereas the XB-35 was a lame duck from its inception.